Uh, how I actually came about getting this was uh, I was over in South Africa filming a film called Siege of Jadotville, which has just gone out in, in Ireland and the, the UK. Uh, and Jason O'Mara, who I was working with, uh, is friends with John. And he said, you know, I know you're making this thing and there's a guy that might suit us. And I got sent the script and I went on tape and then that kind of is how it came about. As soon as I got back, I met up with John and, uh, and I kind of auditioned with him in the room and did a chemistry read with the other lads and stuff like that. And, uh, and then I got it and I was over the moon because I, as soon as I read it, I was like, I would, this would be a dream come true to do this. John is so talented and he's such a good writer and such a good director. And also the team that Treasure put together um, whenever they're making something is like a family. My granddad played for Ireland. Uh, yeah, so when I was growing up, I was kind of like, I have to play rugby. This is uh, my calling and it wasn't. Uh, but yeah, so out of the lads, Nick played for Harlequins. So Nick was almost a professional rugby player. And I played a little bit. I actually taught one of the lads, Jamie, how to pass a rugby ball. He hadn't a clue. Um, so, yeah, in my in my kind of, young, when I was younger, when I was kind of eight, nine, ten, I played rugby. Then I went to technical school and everyone got kind of bigger and I stayed quite small. My rugby career wasn't really taken off. So Brian O'Driscoll, he was your uh, rugby, uh, well, he, if you weren't, you weren't actually playing yourself so much, but he was there to do the choreography. That was kind of cool. Yeah, it was, a, well, I didn't get to meet him. I was raging, yeah. So the lads came back from like, they, they said, do you want to come to the rugby kind of thing? And I was kind of like, nah, nah, it's fine. I'm just going to be sitting on the side. And they were like, oh, Brian O'Driscoll was there. And I was like, oh my God. Like, I would have loved, I would have gone if I knew he was there. But uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll get to meet him at some stage. So what's next for you now? Yeah, so I, um, I'm in LA for a couple more days and then I'm flying back to London to finish filming a TV series called Innocent for ITV. Um, yeah, so that's that's uh, what I'm doing at the moment. So, um, Fiona O'Shea, I think we're going to be seeing an awful lot more of you. Oh, well, let's hope, let's hope. Thanks a million for, for chatting to me.